Well guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today, I've got a mini Costco haul along with some Monday meal planning. So, it's Monday here and uh, happy Monday to everybody. I decided to go through the freezer, the refrigerator, see what we had left, see what we needed, and do a meal plan. So, I went to Costco for some of the things that I needed and some actually some things that we were just out of. So, um, that being said, I spent $158. Now, we are not taxed on food here in Nevada, so that's kind of nice. I know other states are. Um, and so, what we're gonna do is I'll go over my Costco haul and how much everything was, and then I'll show you my meal plan. So first I've got, these are organic range-free eggs. Now, doesn't say they're pasture-raised, and I doubt they are. I'm sure they're raised in a big barn, but my girls aren't laying yet. They should be laying here in the next couple of weeks, or at least the Red Star Sussex should. Um, and you'll see where all this stuff kind of, or what, not all of it, but most of it plays into my meal plan. So I got a six pack of beautiful big red bell peppers. These are non-GMO red bell peppers. I love them. A product of Canada. Um, the eggs were, let's see, let me give you some prices. $5.99 for that 24 pack of eggs. The peppers, where is it? Uh, hmm, it's not showing me. Oh, peppers, $6.49 for peppers. I also uh, got some organic lemonade. We go through quite a bit of this in the summer. And I use it to flavor my water, not to drink it straight, because there's a lot of sugar in here. So I might put a quarter of a cup per 10 ounce or 20 ounce cup, uh, you know, of water. Um, and those, that's $5.99. I got blueberries and these are also from Canada and they're beautiful and they're delicious. We've been eating them daily. Uh, blueberries, $5.49. And a cup of blueberries is only 82 calories. So it's great to have, that's a lot of blueberries to have with your breakfast. Um, this is organic edamame spaghetti. And we've had it before, it's okay once in a while. It's kind of um, got a tooth bite. It's actually, um, for Michael, it's a little bit lower in carbohydrates. Um, and it's a sometimes food, all of our pasta dishes are, but I got this for a later meal, not, not this week. And that's $9.99. I got uh, Fuji apples. And these are fantastic, big, juicy apples. Those were $7.99, right? Apples, oh, yep, $7.99. The edamame was $9.99. Uh, they had strawberries on sale today. A two pound tub of strawberries was $2.99, is that right? Yeah, $2.99, which is a deal. And I will um, wash and hold these today right after i'm done because strawberries start going south really fast if you do that you, you and you put them in the refrigerator they'll kind of macerate and let go of some of their juice but they're delicious on your cereal in the morning with your fresh blueberries so 2.99 for those I always stock up on hash browns hash browns um these are 6.99 for um two four six eight eight cartons and one carton, you just fill it up to the fill line here with hot water and they make delicious hash browns and it is, um, it's like having a pound of potatoes. So that's like eight pounds of potatoes I don't have to worry about. Even though I have dehydrated hash browns and dehydrated um, uh, potato slices up there, I like to have those. And then the next, my favorite dehydrated, I picked up another one of these gourmet mushrooms and um, it, it, I've already got some soaking. These are fantastic. They're just, uh, they're a wild, from the Wild Mushroom Company, and that's $12.49 for that. Bacon, bacon's gone up. This is the Low Sodium Bacon Kirkland brand, and it's $16.99 now. It was not too long ago, it was $13.99. I also bought some Kerrygold Dublinder cheese, and this cheese is so decadently rich. It's like, I love the little cheese wedges they have. I also use Kerrygold butter now. 
for almost everything. And I still have other butter in the freezer for, you know, uh, serious baking. Michael's gone on a trip, so this is non-related. <laughs> Batteries, AAA and AA. And the Kirkland variety is way cheaper than buying the um, name brand, and they do just fine. So he's got batteries for his radios when he goes. Because um, they, they, if they have the radios on and the GPS on, it runs the batteries down pretty good. Lemon pepper, and this was uh, $7.49. But it lasts, that probably lasts us a year, <laughs> at least. Uh, garlic, granulated garlic powder, this was $6.99. Broccoli, and this is a big three pound bag of broccoli, fresh broccoli, and that was $4.49. Avocados, oh, we love avocados. I buy these every time I go to Costco, and they ripen slowly. I think I've got one ripe that I'll use on sandwiches tomorrow, or for Michael's sandwich tomorrow, and our salad tonight, but um, avocado. Just let them ripen on the table, they do fine. And a bottle of wine for later. And that's the extent of my little haul. So, now, groceries, or um, grocery checking. So what I did to do my um, little bit of meal planning is I went out to the freezer, I checked the refrigerator, checked everything I had to try to see, okay, I need to use up things, I need to um, make a meal plan for the week. And I'm trying to get in the habit of doing this every week. It doesn't always happen and plans change, but I use the inside of my appointment book because um, every at the start of every month there's an open calendar and I don't use that for anything else. So I put my meal plans in here. So we're starting week one. Okay, so um, tonight we're having, because I picked up Zacon shrimp, we're having uh, sh jalapeno shrimp poppers and a shrimp and broccoli stir fry. Very quick, low carb. I'm not putting that over rice or any kind of noodle. Although I do have healthy, the healthy noodles. So maybe we'll do that for Michael anyway. They're, it's a little pouch and you rinse them off and heat them up and they're great. And they're uh, 25 calories, zero carbs. So we try to stay as low carb during the week as absolutely possible. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what's for tonight. Tomorrow night, we're gonna have smoked, stuffed, low carb, stuffed red bell peppers. I have ground turkey in the freezer. And so I also, um, so I'm not gonna put any rice in the mix. It's all gonna be veggies and ground turkey. Um, and that's how I'm gonna stuff, then I'm gonna smoke those either on the Traeger or the big green egg. And we'll have panko, um, dipped, uh, well, it's pesto and panko dipped zucchini, and I bake those off in the oven. So if you want to see any of these things, tell me. And actually, you know what, I'm going to switch this because my tomatoes that are all ripe and the way my schedule's running tomorrow, I'm going to move that one to the next day. So that's going to be Wednesday. Tomorrow, we are going to have um, tom tomato pie. Now, tomato pie is gonna utilize my, some of this bacon and my fresh tomatoes, a little bit of the Dublinder cheese, and I'll add other cheeses as well, but tomato pie is to die for delicious, and I know you guys have been asking for it, so the bacon is going right in the crust. So I hope you watch that video, because I will videotape, okay? Um, okay, so we're gonna have tomato pie, and I'll probably, we've got some leftover pork tenderloin, we'll probably have some of that um, pork tenderloin medallions with that that I barbecued last night. Okay, now, Wednesday, or I already showed you Wednesday, the stuffed peppers. Uh, Thursday is gonna be bacon wrapped and stuffed pork tenderloin because I have another pork tenderloin in here and um, I butterfly it and I stuff it and it's so good. So hopefully I can film that one too for you. And then on, uh, that's for Thursday. So Friday <clears throat> is a shepherd's pie. Now shepherd's pie, I'm gonna use the mushrooms, the potatoes, um, 
I actually will use some, I, I've got some can, home canned green beans, I'll use those. Um, some more ground turkey, uh, we'll go ahead and use that. Or I can use uh, ground checker. I might do that, I might pull a package of ground checker out. And then, and that's a meal in itself, another pie crust. <laughs> I might do the shepherd's pie a little bit different though. Maybe I'll do it um, with, with no pie crust. Just open, yeah. Anyway, um, okay, and then we're gonna have breakfast w one night and we're it'll probably be Saturday now. I'm gonna take the avocados that have gotten ripe because they've sat all week and I bake an egg in it and serve it with a little bit of bacon, a couple slices of bacon, some whole grain organic toast and got dinner for breakfast no breakfast for dinner <laughs> anyways hope that wasn't too confusing guys and I hope if you like these kind of videos that you give me a thumbs up go ahead and share this on your Facebook page and let me know what you think um, I've got a bunch of other projects going right now and so I thought you know I'm just gonna bring in my little bitty haul and let you guys know what we're having this week let me know what you're having or what your favorite meal would be for me to film all right leave a comment down below hit that thumbs up don't forget to share this on your Facebook page or your other social media. And you can follow me over on Facebook as well as Instagram at Linda's Pantry. And uh, yeah, let's go make some good stuff. All right, guys, I got to get that shrimp ready. Bye.